the one, the only, Mr. Barry Manilow. <laughs> My own water. You bought some water. Look, like I brought my own water. Oh, this says your name on it. Where it does one? Uh... Only because I'm working in Las Vegas. They, everybody that works in Las Vegas, they give you your own store, your wow. merchandising store. So look, I've got my own water. Barry's look. water. But you can't buy that in regular places. You can't get no, that. You, no, you can only get it in. You buy, the, and do, in and the do people store. come and drink it at the show and enjoy it and wave it at you? Do they actually sign bottles and that kind other of thing? things? And other things. So I brought my second thing for you. Will you see this? Look what they're selling in my store. Oh, good heavens above. It's not a G string, it's a B string. It's a B string. <laughs> okay, Barry, Barry. Queen, I I'm going to put this on after the show and I'm going to wear Me this home you? and yeah. surprise my wife. <laughs> it's all yours. You don't have one that's so just a little thing. bit larger, you do you? Because I don't think you'd fit into that thing. This is like, no, I'll it's tell a you girl's what, thing. It's a girl's I won't thing. fit on this, but it's I can put this. It's a girl's thing. It's well, a girl's thing. Or I'll put it on one of my dogs. All right. <laughs> Mr. Pickle could wear it on his head. Mr. Pickle could look great in it. I'm assuming that since you've given me such splendid guests, you'd yes. like to give me to give you an experience no, no, in return. No, no, no. Look, look. The answer is no. <laughs> Whoever yells no, the answer is no. All right? Come on, interview me. Where's your joie de vivre? Do something. Where's your, where's your esprit de, de denture? Where's your desire to exercise l'abdomen and l'alz? Hey, why don't you do it and I'll play for you or something, all right? Oh, that'd be good later on. All right, on. very good. OK, uh, great to have you here. I love Thank having you. you here. I was listening to your greatest hits today, getting warmed up you for were? it. Man, yeah, I love a bit of Barry Manilow. I, I mean, look at, look at them. Your, your band is playing these wonderful things. Yes, and yes. you guys sound great doing oh, it, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're all singing in tune and everything. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fast. Uh, but it's great to have you here. You're over here Thank for you. the uh, prom in the parks, which is a... What is that? It's a big deal. It's a big event. Uh, there'll be, like, uh, 40 or 50,000 people there watching you. You know that's that. all? No, I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what they said. It's, Do you it's, get nervous as I got, No. As I, get, as I got closer to the proms, I realized that it was a... It's a real big thing, and it's a real big honor to be asked. So I'm, I'm getting more and more excited. And there's a huge orchestra on the stage. That's really making me crazy. Uh, and so what numbers are you going to do at the park? Do you have, I mean, I guess I you have a, a, this is the, the act you do in Vegas, I guess? You no, 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 we can't do that there. But I've got, like, you know, about a, an hour's worth of, okay. I, I'm a very lucky guy, you know? You've got some great tunes in your back I've got, catalog. I've got a catalog, you know, and I've got them all orchestrated for a big orchestra, so it should be great. You've you performed many of the great songs from what they call the American Songbook, I guess. I You've gone back to the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. Um, uh, what do you like contemporary music? Do you, do you hear artists today that you like the sound of their tunes that you could adapt? Well, that I can adapt? I don't think like that, but I do, you know, I do listen to the pop radio when I can. I mean, you know, all the years, all the years that I've been in, in the music business, I, you know, I force myself to listen to the pop radio. I don't like it, really. You don't uh, like pop music I don't. I, I would much rather listen to classical music, Broadway music, R&B music, even electronica these days. But pop music, I've got to slog through the crap that's on pop music. And then suddenly Coldplay comes on, or Nickelback comes on, or, or you know, or, 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 or Gwen or, Stefani or, comes or on. Or Jamie T. Yes, I yes, would. No, well, I would love to hear him. I mean, I was okay, talking well, about that. He's got a big number one album yeah, now, right? He's got one album, that's right. He's, he's sitting great. there, he's, your, he's just saying, yeah, you hate popular music. Barry, he's sitting there, he's waiting for the... I'm throw the man a bone, will you, Barry? Well, I hope it's great. Yeah, what do you mean, hope it? Just say it's great anyway. No, it's going to be great. It's good, it's great. What's wrong with just say it's great? I'll make you go on the machine. <laughs> make him get on, he's younger. Have the power. <laughs> you do. You signed a contract when you came in. You've got to go to the machine. Okay, yo, so we have a clip from you way back when at the Albert Hall when you first came over. No, no, but here's the thing. Am I right in thinking that you don't, when you don't really like looking at yourself in this period? You Do you? Well, yeah, I don't mind looking. So it is very different. But I don't. If I see early kids myself, and I, you know, I haven't changed maybe as much. But I mean, you know, certainly I, I don't mind it because it's a different uh, time. It's a different place. You're uh, a different person. You're a kid, and you look great. You look great in these performances. Uh, I think. Which one are you going to show? We're going to show what? I don't know. This might be the one with the frilly shirts. I'm not oh, sure. All this right. Is, this is you doing Copacabana way oh, back when. Oh God, help me. Okay. Look right. at this. Her name is Lola. She was a showgirl, but that was 30 years ago when they used to have a show. Now it's a disco, but that's a Lola. Still in the dress she used to wear, made of feathers in her hair. She says they're so refined and brings her stout head. She lost her youth and she lost her tone. Now she's good, good, fine. That's a coma, coma, coma. Yeah. 
Great song. It's a great I, song. I agree. He's cute. He's cute. He's trying his best. Wow, but that shirt, that's a great shirt. You could put that shirt out on its own, people will pay to see it. <laughs> you know, I did it for a laugh and I got there's myself one there. in look, trouble. There, there's more shirt involved than man there. That's a look. Yeah, it's, it's like an experiment from the fly. They've they genetically is. spliced did, you. You know, I did it as a laugh. You, you want to hear an interesting story about that shirt? The Smithsonian Institute, the Smithsonian, it called and asked if they could have the shirt. Well, that's the big deal in America. That's it where is. they preserve cultural so, artifacts. And, uh... So I sent them the shirt, right? And then I did an interview, and I was like, you know, what am I going to say about this shirt? Like, I'm so proud to have, you know. <laughs> so I said, so I said, I'm always known that the shirt was going to wind up in an institution one day, right? <laughs> no, I thought that was a cool joke, right? And they got so insulted, they sent it back to No. Me. They <laughs> did. They have no sense of humor at the Well, where is that shirt now? I have it. You want it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh. No, I have it. It's in a, it's in a frame or something well, you should somewhere. Get, well, look, here. Why don't you donate it to the British Museum here? Well, maybe they won't send it back, right? Yeah, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll drape it over Tutankhamun's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-for-one show. Um, <laughs> welcome to London. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, what was the first... When, when did you realise, OK, I can make a career out of this? When did you think, OK, this is going to happen for me? Uh, not necessarily... Just, just in the entertainment industry itself. Not um, necessarily as a star. Well, it was kind of an oddball uh, uh, beginning I had because I really didn't want to be a performer, ever, never. I never, it never dawned on you me. You didn't really want, crave that attention, did you, or that? I didn't. I was, I was very happy to be one of those guys. I, was, I would be very... Which you clarify, by which you mean... A musician. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, a musician. I was a, an accompanist, a musician, an arranger. Um, uh, and, you know, uh, th that's what I would have, be, would have been very happy to do that. Songwriter, producer, that's where I was headed. Kind of backstage, uh, behind the scenes. Anything, kind of thing, anything behind the scenes. And so, and initially, you performed, uh, well, you performed with other people. Of course, quite famously, you were with Bette Midler for many years. I was years. her accompanist, her music director, her arranger for four years, three or four years. A, a huge talent. Uh, you being a large talent as well, was there a clash? There was a, was there a difficulty between the two? Were there egos? Not musically. We made some great entertainment together. We were, we were, we were great. The together. divine Miss M. But you fell out for a few years, didn't you? You had a well, bit of a... I went one way and she went the other way. Did so you go, you had a period where you kind of, uh, would it be fair to say you lost your way a bit, uh, maybe as a person, if not a performer? I've, I've read that you were... Well, after Mandy came out, my life just changed overnight. I was, you know, I was going home at night, and bouncing checks, and, um, uh, you know, accompanying people, and I had a normal life. And then overnight, this record came out. And everything just went upside down. Everything went upside down. And for, for, I would say, the first two or three years, I did lose my way. That's a good way to put it. I did. And you I, were still a comparatively young guy. How old were you when Mandy came out? I just had, uh, turned 30, 30 years. So it's pretty young, really. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're still just working away there. I don't know so how the be... younger people do it. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I say a little prayer for all of them. If they're 18 or 19 or, or early, younger than that, and that kind of success hits... I mean, I went through my asshole period, and I was already in my 30s. I cannot imagine what it does to you if you're in your 15 or 16. Yeah, yeah. Well, young kids, so many go off the rails, of course, unless they've got people around them who are yeah. looking out for them. Yeah. Uh, and then, so how did you find your way back to being the person you want to be, to having the career and the life you want to have? I mean, who, who helped you back? Well, I had... My friends didn't leave. My family didn't leave, you know, and uh, I... When I finally came back down to earth, because I exploded, everybody does. You know, like you hit the, that thing at the carnival and the thing. I was up there uh, in, 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 on Mars for the first three years. I didn't know where I was. I was yeah. on the road. I was with publicists. I was with agents. This, I mean, all, everything changed. And, and did you enjoy that experience? Or were you I didn't. I hated it. Time? I hated it. I don't know what had happened. It happened so quickly. And the records kept going, and I still didn't know where I was. I, and that was me, you know. I was doing the best I could, but that really wasn't me. Yeah. I'm one of the musicians, you know, and I was up there goofing around with a silly Copacabana and, shirt. And so but you know, you know who really kept me, go uh, uh, kept me grounded? These people. These people. The public just wouldn't let me go crazy. They kept writing. They kept... They kept supporting me, including my family, including, you know, including my friends. And I finally had to come down to earth and kind of embrace this fame that hit. So, so let me ask you about your fans then, because uh, you have, uh, we have a lot of your fans in this evening, of course. You have fans all over the UK, but you also have fans who show their love in different and unusual ways as well. I believe. There are any number of Barry Manilow fan websites. I don't know how many of these you're familiar with. 
Um, I only I only know the one that um, that 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 is the Manilow website that I okay, kind of well like. Well, then you're not familiar then with the website Barry's Cat Loving Fans. <laughs> you know, it's a website just to fans much. of yours who also love cats. No, I've never. <laughs> who doesn't love cats? I don't. I don't love cats. Okay. Well, then you've just lost a lot of fans uh. there. <laughs> Here's one I like the sound of, Barry's Big Beautiful Ladies. Wow. No. Okay. Queen Victoria posts on that one. Yeah. I think. <laughs> and, and here's my two favourites. These are genuine websites. Short and Sweet on Barry, for short ladies who are fans of Barry Mellow. Oh, no. where did you find these These things? are all out there on the internet. And then there's, uh, there's this group, and then once again, we're not making this up, we have some screen grabs. We've this is genuine. Mer Manilo, they're a group of fans of yours who post pictures of you as a mermaid. Or a mermaid. <laughs> This is, this is, this is real. Mermanilo. Mer, Mer I have to see this. Well, one. here's a picture now. This is actually from the website. Look at this. This is, that's, that's... <laughs> no, we're not making this oh, up. for God's sake. Barry, this is for real. That's one, there's oh, another you one made here. This. I don't know why the shark... Look, there's oh, another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I don't know why you're swimming in a shirt. You're going to ruin that. Yeah. And there's one. I think the shark's got that one. Look, he's got... This is out there on the internet. What am I doing on this show? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me ask you about uh, performing, the way your year is structured, Wiggers, now, because you spend uh, a period of the year performing in Las Vegas, don't you? You have, I do. it, you have a residency there I at do. one of the big hotels? Uh, artiste, artiste in residence. I yeah, am. well, that's, this is the big thing now. All the big acts yeah. do this, don't they? I know that the, uh, Elton John did this for a while, of course. Celine Dion did it for right. two and a half years, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Uh, which hotel More. are you at there? More. Uh, she did it for five years. I five think. years? Yeah. I'm into my fifth year now. Wow. Well, congratulations. That's, Thank you. Uh, that's remarkable. It is. And it these is. are people who come and they know they're going to have a great time in Vegas, but they're going to come and see a big show as well. No, it's great. I didn't think I could do it. But I mean, I, I accepted the gig because I was done being on the road. And the road was just killing me, as so many of us. It yeah. kills so many of us. I mean, it's a young person's gig. And, um, and they offered me this gig at the Hilton. And, um, well, that's a classy hotel to be at. Take a chance. Uh, let me have a look. This is a, this is a bit of uh, Barry performing in his Las Vegas show. I haven't had the good fortune to see this. This is Barry in Las Vegas. Oh, baby, I love you. Based on classical music, that's based on, is it Chopin? I wrote it based on a Chopin prelude, the Chopin prelude. I only know because David on piano there told me that earlier. He said, and you hear it, so I love it, it gets all dramatic at the end there. That's a yeah. cracking good nice. song. Um, Barry, it's been an absolute joy having you here. Thank you so Thank much. You. Good luck with the prom in the parks. Thank Not you. that you need it. It's going to be a fantastic fun. And you're going to perform for us right now? I am. Uh, Barry, you know, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you for joining us. Thank Barry Mallow, ladies and gentlemen. Right now. Thank you, Barry. Okay, if you're ready. I hope you are.